How the heck are you guys? I'm Bassidious. Welcome to my channel. So, I was up late last night, late until reset. I was scrounging together as many summons as possible, making one last push for A1 Reeve. More on that tomorrow. But I lasted through reset. So, of course, I went over to events, and what did I see? A whole bunch of craziness, man. A whole bunch of craziness. We've got two X's on both blue summons and gold summons. You know, your rare summoning crystals and your legendary summoning crystals. We've got, starting on Saturday, a 1 plus 1 event. Everyone's favorite event in Watcher of Realms. And then we're getting a rerun banner. A one-day rerun banner. I was chatting with Seamus about this. This is becoming a thing they do now right the cool thing is it's going to be a 15x not a 10x like the first time they ran this banner but this is an exact rerun of the elowin anai banner with the exact same epics from i don't know when was this three or four months ago january or uh had to be january or december uh so an exact one day rerun we saw the same thing with constance and Alora. that was like our thanksgiving banner they reran that i don't know about three weeks ago four weeks ago just for a one sunday thing they're doing it again so there's a lot to get into here. There's a lot of fun banners and there's a big general question, a big general question that we have to ask. Are we getting too many good banners? Like, are they doing, is it too much? Is it, is it, is it, can we even handle this? You know, I've seen a lot of complaints, people being like, this is turning me off from the game. That is a question I want to address because I think it's something to interrogate. I will also say when we look at Elowin very briefly and I talk about why she's so freaking good, I will give you a very small sneak peek to the website. Uh, the website is, uh, yeah, people are asking constantly. The plan is Friday. I'm praying to all the website gods that that happens. Um, I'll give you a really quick sneak peek uh, of one of the many reasons why it might not happen, but you'll get to see how chic it looks, how cool it's going to be. I'm telling you guys, we are working around the clock on this. It's a lot harder than I thought, uh, but it's all about the banners, all about the banners. So we got the one plus one, we got the Elowin, we've got the two X's. Let's get into it. Fastidious. Fastidious. So this isn't going to be like a should you summon. It's just me saying what each banner is and then us getting into a discussion about it. And then we're going to talk about Elowin just for a minute. You can see the two X. Two X is like almost every weekend. And now that you know, we've got another 2x by 15x. They, like you have your 2x opportunities. Something just not to think too, too hard about, unless you're going full degen, you're a big spender, or you're a new player. Because for new players, it's a must. Also for new players, it's a must. I mean, one plus one. It's kind of like cream of the crop for basically everybody, except for people super end game, where you're only looking for specific kinds of dupes. Keep in mind, uh, there's no rate up on this, so you have your normal distribution of odds. So there's all those common bucket legendaries that you're not gonna be too thrilled about. Killer banner though. I actually don't think I'm I'm freaking out, man. I am tapped. 375. I got two blue summons. I don't see that one happening for me. I think it's gonna be my first skip on a one plus one in a while. So it goes. And then Elwin. And this is kind of what I want to talk about before we go to our bigger discussion of Boyo Yoing. Lots of lots of good banners. Lots of reasons to summon. I mean, a one plus one and an Elwin in the same weekend, right after the crazy Reeve and two X by 15 X for Hex and Zeal two. Right after Artemis and Hotsit, and that rim, and then Trusk in the middle, and then before that we had the Valentine's Day, and so on and so on. Right. Elwin though, super duper hype. Let's start with Anai. Uh, I have a lot of Anai content. I will say, go back. I do not waver from a single thing I've ever said about Anai. She is exactly serviceable for normal content. Right. She is outclassed or at least matched by epics, so you're never gonna build her. However, I did say in all my original stuff with Anai, you can go back and find it. Uh, <laughs> go back and search, because I had a huge Anai saga. I said, you know, if they ever had content where you need tons of burning or tons of dots, then she could be pretty good. And what did they do? They added exactly that with Arbiter of Frost. So for that, she even made my, my final team or the second to last team I, I used. I can't remember if she made my actual SS team, uh, or what did I get, SS plus, or SS, I think. Whatever, yeah, I think it was my, my SS team, uh, or she was the team right before that that just missed. But I did build her out. She's 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 solid for that, no question. I'm definitely going to use her this time because I got Twin Fiend. Uh, so this is, like, not as big a penalty to pull on this banner as it was before. But in no world should any normal, be play, normal player be pulling on this banner because of an eye. In every world, if you don't have her, I think every single player should pull for Elowin. Uh, so let's get into it right now. Let me pull up my website. I'm not going to tell you the name yet, but let's pull up my website and let me show you. 
So I'm already on Elowin's hero card page, and I'm specifically on her tier ratings. You'll see on the website, you'll get attributes, then skills. This is kind of the bug I was already talking about. We need to make things fit properly, have some kind of transparent background. There's so many little things you don't anticipate, guys, when you build a website. Our list of bugs that we keep coming back to the developer with and our team keeps creating is, it's, it's, it's just, it's so much, especially when we're trying to do it pretty high level, as you can see some stuff here. Awakenings, whatever, we can do this all when we break down Elwin. maybe I'll do a proper Elwin guide. I just wanted to focus on tier ratings, and please take all these tier ratings. With Elwin, not much is gonna change, but with a grain of salt, this is from my tier list that maybe you guys have seen. Uh, you know, I've, I've got the biggest tier list in Wantra of Realms, but right now it's a Google sheet that I've circulated uh, that came out back in January. I am actually, and I'll announce it in this video, tomorrow, because of all the website craziness, I decided I'm going to update it. Once the website's out, we'll update it every single month. And for this first one, I want to do a really big thing. I decided I'm going to do it live on stream. I'll be joined by the fantastic Ronaldo Plays, my, my best friend of war, my first friend in war. I cannot wait. Um, and we'll stream that all like you know two three four hours on youtube getting all that done so all this stuff will be updating you'll see there's no gear aid four and there's going to be none of the two new codexes uh basically everything else remain the same something slightly could move a little bit uh but all in all uh she's still elven she's still awesome uh and all these grades pretty much hold and that's kind of what i want to give you a sense of so triple s is a grade i don't really give i will never give it for a specific column as you'll see in the tier list and stuff uh you know when we get into all that that's over here but you gotta wait. Um, it's it's very nice. Uh, but what I will say is uh, for a handful of heroes, and I think for now we're gonna leave, limit to five normal heroes, and then maybe a couple select lords at a time, we'll get the triple S overall designation. Elwyn is very much one of those five. She is stupid, stupid good. Uh, Guild boss, I'd probably put her at an S, not S, S plus. I'll just tell you the changes I would make. Obvious S plus for gear eight one, uh, gear eight two, A plus. If you've got great gear, she's a solid S or E. You don't really need S plus because she's not needed, but solid S because she can do Vortex's job. It just takes the gear, and at that point, did you did you did, did you were you not already farming gear A two twenty one? If you had the gear to get that build on her, but still super serviceable and completely goaded elite up through eighteen, and then just very good for for other strats afterwards, especially if you're doing kind of a Sadie, Sadie kind of strat. Uh, gear A three completely goaded. Uh, the rage regions unmatched. Uh, maybe an S, maybe an S. As I say, unmatched. I mean, I do. I use her over hollow like every time, but it's, she's not an SSE. She'll probably get an S here. Uh, AMR, obvious S. Um, Void Rift, obvious S+. Plus, best Void Rift healer in the game. Uh, her and Artemis, it's not even close. Uh, they obviously do different things. As a utility har healer, Artemis is just a total freak. Uh, campaign, the best, probably the best campaign hero in the game, I would guess. Uh, maybe her and Idril or something. Faction Trials, I mean, the best esotericist in the game, bar none. Golem, uh, literally the key to every successful top 100 team. I got 81, I think, uh, but literally every, every, there's not a single team that wouldn't, won't have Elwin. It's impossible. Uh, and then we've got Styx. She is, she's the goddess. Uh, I got 16, what did I get in six? 61 in the world in six. Of course I used Elwin. Everyone did. How could you not? You need that Rage Agent. She's, she's the queen. Uh, I think there's probably some comps without her. I'll pull myself up. Um, Guild War, we do S plus. I might drop her down to S, but certainly she's, she's right there. Uh, the, the Rage Agent makes it really hard to time out, uh, enemy, uh, hard for enemies to time out your team she's freakishly good and then this is where i'll probably have to source some more stuff because i'm out of the arena loop right now uh, i'll probably have to have a separate video all about how annoyed i am about arena but you can see we're giving her bees and then anti-air uh she would there be there just for rage regen but still that's a lot of rage regen maybe that should even be higher ellen's a queen she can do everything uh so that's something to get excited about we'll do a proper thing and it should you summon and again i apologize for this clipping with the image but it looks pretty good right uh we're, we're getting there we're getting there so you can see here with Elowin, we've got Grace of Nature. This is her ultimate. It's a big kind of AOE effect, uh, but it's a full cleanse, best cleanse in the game. Basically, her and Dasami are the, the two best cleansers we've got. We only have like four real cleansers, uh, so so pr pretty amazing stuff. The the other two obviously being Midon and Aaron. I think those are just the four. Then we got a big AOE heal, but actually this is how they write it. But it's a multi-target heal, and this can actually scale with Elysian Epitaph, which just makes it even more powerful than it used to be, so she's become a much better healer in my eyes for actual just healing. Uh, then her Wood Elf is crazy. Uh, it gives her global heal. You can place it on any floor unit on the whole map. Uh, and on top of that, the Wood Elf costs five. When you pick it up, you are refunded eight. So it's also a cost generation. The Wood Elf gives you three costs. It doesn't say that anywhere, but that's how it works. It is crazy. And then Nature's Favor, maybe the best skill in all of Watch Realms. This and Silas's ult might be the single tube and then whatever the hell is going on with Praetis. Those might be the best skills in the whole game. Uh, so it starts out here 
Every five seconds for all allies, you get 1% of their rage cap. But when you max it out, it's every three seconds, they get 3%. This is map-wide. This is a global boost. This is freaking insanity. Uh, here, look, another bug. It, next should be alphabetical. It shouldn't be here on Admiral Claw, but, you know, it is what it is. We're, we're working it out. We're going to literally around the clock to try to get it from Friday. But fair warning, uh, I don't know, man. It's it's brutal. It's brutal. Um so you can see we still need to get the attack range in here and stuff uh we're working on all that uh, her awakenings i'll say if you're thinking of going nuts don't really blow my mind at all um i would say the wood elf thing at a5 is really cool but by the time you got an a5 element i don't know if you need all that but it is it is really neat all in all she's a, she's an amazing amazing hero i hope you liked your little sneak peek i hope this gets you excited and i hope you guys uh i thank you i thank you guys for being so patient uh, so let's wrap it up with our proper discussion of what the hell is going on in Watcher of Realms. So it's just boom, 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 boom. I was thinking I'd pull up some some viewer comments of people saying like it's too much, we're getting too many banners. But then I thought, first off, I don't really want to like shout out people and put them on blast. Uh, but also, I just it's been so many comments of people being like, there, there's too many banners, I can't keep up, I can't save, that I, I wanted to address this directly. Um, it's not like. These are these are banners of OG heroes most of the time, right? Like they're reruns in a lot of ways. I mean, this is a direct rerun. It's the exact same banner, but like we've had hex banners, we've had Sela two banners, right? This is just an opportunity for people that missed it. I 100% empathize with the feeling of FOMO that you don't want to miss out on these heroes or getting dupes of these heroes, whatever. Uh, especially, you know, we just had, uh, and then you don't want to miss out on Reeve, obviously. But then it's like, oh, but I just wasted all my summons for Trusk or for Artemis and Hotset and so on, and it's all so recent, right? You got to make decisions, not just in this game, in life, guys. Uh, there's not so much. It's in what other game are you pulling every weekend and getting everything you want every weekend? I would say literally none. Otherwise, you're not really playing a gotcha. Um, this game, I would say, is it's supremely generous with the summoning. Uh, and now I've become supremely generous with the different opportunities to have good summoning moments. Uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a lot of choice. And now you have to make a decision. But you can't really fault the game or be salty because of your own decisions. Um, we know, like clockwork, every two months we get a limited banner. I will say the Reeve one came one week earlier than I had anticipated. Um, never made a formal prediction about this, you know, but like Lust was on uh, February 14th and then Reeve came at the very end of March. I would have thought it would come the first or second week of April. I thought maybe this weekend or the next one, right? But everyone should have known. I was saying Reeve since January that I think he would be, once we knew Lust was coming, said, you know, we had a heart, big feeling Lust was coming. I said, I, I can get, I'm telling you guys, Reeve's going to be next. And people were acting so blindsided. Granted, not everyone can watch every inch of my content or other people's content, right? But you, you got you got to take some accountability, I think. Uh, and moreover, it's just, yeah, it's just, unless you're a big spender, or, you know, the content creator when the content creator program is working. I know a lot of guys know more to Mark. Mike had an amazing meme about that. Uh, you're, you're no no chance in hell, man. Go think back to your time if you come from other games. Uh, you know, if you I can name any gotcha game ever. Like, when are you summoning every weekend on whatever banner you want and you're always prepared? You have to make choices. You know, it's you're at the casino, baby. You're always taking, you're always gambling, you're always playing the odds. Do you want to... Do you get to go to the casino and say, oh, I'm going to spend $10,000 on this blackjack table and $5,000 on that open hand uh, poker table and this, this, we're going to play Texas over here. Oh, and then I'll, then I'll play the slots for another 20 grand. No, dude, you have your budget and you got to make do. Think of it that way. And each trip to a new thing is a different weekend. You can't be ripping every weekend for most normies, like, like almost all of us, right? So uh, I'm taking this weekend off. I'm taking a full weekend off. Uh, you know, before this, the yeah, trust I did like a mini, just one to pity. For some people, that's not mini. By by my standards, it is. Uh, the week before, I took off as well. Then we had Artemis and Hot Sit. The week, two weeks before, I took off. Uh, and I'm making those decisions, you know. And I get, you know, these big bouts of diamonds every month. You know, not as insane as it used to be, but it's significant. Like uh, thirty-two and a half thousand. That's that's what I got. So that's how it is, guys. They don't. The fact that they're giving us the banners is a nice thing. Now it's up to you to decide when you're going to do it. You can't be like, that's no fair. You're mean. You're doing this banner. You're not spreading them out too much. You just got to wait. Or you got to be prepared. Always have a, always have a reserve then, right? I, I, I was always making sure, you know, before with, since I missed Reeve way back in August or September, I guess end of August, I've always made sure, now I don't because I just went for Reeve, that I always keep my diamonds above like 17,000 or whatever. When like you need that plus the rebate, I guess it'd be more like 15,000. Uh, to guarantee that I have my 250. Now it'd be like 17 or 18, I think, with the rebate, because you do need 250. Uh, that's my two cents. Um, not, sorry to, I don't know, be the bearer of bad news or, or whatever. I just think, would you rather they have 
crappy banners every weekend or a good banner once every two months or just good banners all the time and then you have to make the choice and the onus is on you and you get some agency. I think we should all be be thrilled to have that agency and get to go. You know, and eventually you reach the point where it's easier to skip because you filled out your roster. You know, I don't have, El I, I have Elowen and I don't want her awakening, so that's a skip. If I was in a tighter situation, I would skip Tex and, and Zila too, too, because I already had those guys, right? I was in a position where I got to go pretty hard on them uh, and I snagged two Zila two copies, which was pretty sweet. But you know, it's it's always a balancing act and you gotta assess your account. You know your spending habits, you know how hard you grind, you know how d deep into the game you are. You know, I, I saw a lot of people being so shocked at the number of ancient summons I had. Uh, sorry for the April Fool's joke I played, but they're like, how do you have 55 if you just pulled all of yours? Well, no, I didn't. Uh, I was I was pretty thoughtful about it. I saved for two and a half months. I'm saving about 40 a month as a 100% free to play on the Ancients, right? They can't buy Ancients with diamonds, but I'm super end game. I'm maxing everything out in terms of the rewards that I reap. Uh, and I had it up to like 104, 105. I did 60. I got my Twin Fiend. I stopped. So I was at like in the 40s. And then look at that. The week ended. Uh, a codex came up, this, that, and the other, and I've already loaded it back up like another 10. That's just how it works, guys, and you just got to be prepared and, and, you know, be diligent. I only pull the, my golds once every two months, you know, and it's not much. I get between five, four and 10, maybe. 10 if I'm supremely lucky. That was once. It's really between like four and six, depending, you know, it's all about the, whatever the hell is happening over here in Guild Boss. Again, a story for another day. But yeah, you just got to just take ownership of it. Uh, I'd say be thrilled that you have the option most weekends to go for something good you know, and uh, evaluate, 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 evaluate. Guys, I've been fastidious. If you like my stuff, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be going on this, on any of these banners. If enough people want, we can do a one plus one pulls party. I don't think there'll be enough demand just for the Elowen thing, uh, but if there is, we can do that as well. Um, and again, just, just know in your heart of hearts that me and Maku and everyone, I don't want to name, like, we got 10 people on our team, but me and Maku, I'm ending this call right now so we can hop on a call with our web dev, which we're doing all the time now because it's, we're deep in it. We're deep in it. And it's so much work. And I'll have a huge thank you video to all the guys uh, soon. But just know we're working our tushes off, our little cabooses off, trying to get this website done to make it as perfect as possible. And it's so much harder than I ever dreamed of. Thank you. Much love. I've been fastidious. Share with your mother. I'll see you real soon. Fastidious.